Hey everyone and welcome back. Today I have another slightly different video for you all. So you would have seen that I did post my home office tour uh, quite recently and I wanted to do kind of like a follow up video to that where I talk about my YouTube setup. And I really wanted to go in depth with the kind of equipment that I'm currently using because I know that that is usually a very big question on people's lips is always what camera are you using? What microphone are you using? How do you film with your setup? Like what lights are you using? So I thought I would go through a couple of those pieces of equipment today and really show you how my setup is usually formed in my home office. Now I have to admit my setup does change pretty regularly. So sometimes I've used different lights, sometimes I'll use a different camera angle, sometimes I'm just doing vlogging so I'm not always filming at home in this office. So I do think things evolve as you go along with YouTube especially and your setup probably won't be your setup for a really long time. Even for me I've kind of had a recent shift with the way I've used lighting in a lot of my videos and you may have noticed that. So things do evolve pretty regularly for me. But if you're new to these videos. Hi, my name is Kaylee and I'm a beauty and fashion photographer based near Sydney, Australia. But I'm also a content creator and I started this channel a few years ago to talk about all things business, social media, freelancing and content creation. And as I mentioned in today's video, we're going to be going through my YouTube filming setup and I'm going to be going in depth with what kind of equipment I'm using and also how I like to film. So let's get straight into it. So first, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of my home office. If you haven't seen my recent video on my home office tour, you can go and watch that if you like. Uh, but I'm just going to give a general overview. So here's my desk, here's my chair. I tend to sit here a lot when I'm filming and you'll notice that in a lot of my videos. So I actually like this kind of corner of the room because it just kind of shows a few things. You know, it's got like my graphics tablet. It's got my monitor with my photography on it and it's also got my chair here. So I kind of feel like it's the perfect little office environment to do my videos in. And I just kind of like this corner. It tends to be quite a clean corner of my office as well, which definitely helps when you're filming content regularly. So for me, I like to sit here and film and I just feel like it's a really good spot in this particular room. Now I am actually going to go through my lighting setup first with you and I'll show you what that actually looks like. So on the opposite side of my room, I have my lighting and I only use one light currently. This light is actually pretty powerful. It's called the SL1 130 B&A and that is by iFootage. And I actually received these lights sometime last year for a collaboration that I did with them. I actually did a collaboration across three of their lights and I received, I believe, two of these. And they're really powerful little lights, really quite small and very portable, very easy to take with you if you need to travel with them. Um, and I usually just use the reflector dish and there's kind of like a diffuser on this as well. Now, this is still quite a hard lighting setup, I would say overall. And so what I do to kind of minimize that harder light effect is actually bounce it against my white wall and it actually illuminates my room pretty well because all of my walls are white. So I do find that that's a really good way to kind of get that softer effect with my lighting without having to direct the light directly at my face when I'm sitting down in my computer chair on the opposite side of the room. Now I actually used to do this and if you watch some of my videos which were fairly recent, you'll see that the lighting is a lot more crisp, a lot more harder. It's not necessarily a bad thing and I didn't mind using it for a while but it does cause very hard shadows and they can kind of feel distracting sometimes when you're watching videos like this. So I do prefer the softer light effect overall and this just really helps with getting that soft light effect because I actually don't have any other modifiers. Usually I would just use like a soft box or an octa box or something like that um, to really create that softer effect on my face but I don't actually have any modifiers for these lights yet apart from the reflector dish so I'm just making do with what I've got for now. So you can see that's a really simple setup for me. I know that I don't have to set much up when I start filming my videos and that's how I want to keep it for the most part at the moment. I do film quite a lot of content week to week so I want to make sure that it's not taking me like hours and hours to set things up. And I also try and leave it in the same spot in the room as well so I don't have to kind of fiddle around with lighting too much every time I want to film a YouTube video. I just keep it in the same spot and face it towards the wall and turn it on and off as I need to. Now the camera is probably the main thing you're wondering about because I feel like that's the most popular question that I feel like everyone always gets asked. So the camera that I'm currently using is the Panasonic Lumix S5 and I use a 20 to 60 millimeter lens with that and I believe that that is a kit lens that can come with the camera. So I really enjoy using this combo of the Lumix and the 20 to 60 millimeter. 20 to 60 millimeters is really great for filming YouTube videos because you kind of have a slightly wider angle if you need it but then you can go a little bit closer in for more of a portrait kind of framing and I really love the quality of the Lumix S5. I actually use this camera for a lot of my travel photography. It is a mirrorless camera. It's quite lightweight and I love taking it on holidays with me. I do a bit of vlogging on it too. It actually 
actually has a flip out screen, which is great so I can see everything that's happening. And the flip out screen is on the side, which I also really love because not all flip out screens are on the side on a lot of mirrorless cameras. And I just find that this works really well. So in terms of when I'm shooting my videos, I tend to leave things on auto for YouTube and also autofocus because things can get really tricky when you're not using autofocus uh, with video and filming yourself. So I feel like it's just easier for me to keep things on auto as well, especially in this room where the light changes as well, even though I do have this light behind me that I'm using to kind of fill in uh, the room, I still get quite a bit of ambient light leaking in as well, being that I have quite a few windows in here and that tends to change the lighting in the video pretty regularly. So I just like to keep things on auto. So I'm not gonna look at the footage later on and it's gonna be super dark or super bright or anything like that. It just makes things so much easier. Now I do use the Lumix S5 on my Velbon tripod. Now this tripod is very old. I think I got this maybe in 2007, 2008 and it would have been for my Christmas present or my birthday present, um, but it's quite an old tripod. It still does the job though. And I just keep this at home most of the time with the camera mounted. Again, I just kind of keep both things mounted in the corner of the room. So whenever I want to film more content, it's easy to just grab the tripod, put it over here, turn the camera on and away we go. Now in terms of the audio, I do tend to use a couple of different microphones, but the main one that I actually do use for a lot of my filming right now on YouTube is the Rode Wireless Go Kit. And this comes with a transmitter and receiver and it's just a lav mic, which means you can basically just pop it on your clothing and it will sit there. I personally like to hold it a little bit better because sometimes my hair gets in the way if I've got it down and, and it can be a little bit muffled. So sometimes it's just easier to hold. This actually comes with like a little pop filter as well. So these are really, really great, especially if you are wanting to travel or if you're wanting to move around a bit in a video, these are perfect for that because obviously you can easily take them with you. I also use the Rode Video Micro microphone, which is more of a shotgun mic that sits on top of the camera. It's quite small, again, very lightweight, easy to travel with, and that's how I take to keep a lot of my equipment. And then the third microphone that I tend to use from time to time is my Blue Yeti USB mic. So I actually use this sometimes if I'm in more of a stationary position in front of my desk, you might see me filming with it. I tend to use this microphone mainly though when I'm doing like screen recordings and tutorials and things like that, because it is obviously a desk mic and USB mic, so it's easier to kind of use in that setting. Now I also did want to quickly touch on this particular camera, which is actually the DJI Osmo Pocket. And it is such a great little camera. I think someone actually mentioned in one of my recent videos that they couldn't believe that this was a camera and it is. It's really good for vlogging. It's got a tiny little screen on it you can see and this is just phenomenal for capturing vlogging like in particular. We've been using this for years, my partner and I on our vlogging channel and it's just done such a good little job. It's so discreet so you can take it pretty much anywhere. Uh, it's got a gimbal on it so you're really getting that smooth footage which is really nice and especially if you're in a car and things can be a bit bumpy or on a train, um, this is just so great for that. Shoots in 4K and at 60 frames per second and I really, really love using this so you probably will see me vlogging with this a little bit from time to time. But yeah, I really love this as part of my kit and it just makes for such a lightweight little vlogging camera, really, really perfect for that. So in terms of a little bit more about my setup, I'm going to show you just a couple of little extras about the details of my setup and how I like to have things. So this is pretty much the angle that I like to shoot from. Obviously it's a little bit more wide angle on camera at the moment, but usually I'll be sitting here. I will have my light on this side of the room pointed towards the wall. And then that is enough to really illuminate my face and the room in general. And and then my camera takes care of the rest of it with the auto function where it can kind of lighten the settings to where it feels it looks good. So at this stage, my tripod is basically on a 45 degree angle. Sometimes I will have my Blue Yeti, which actually comes out on this, which is behind me. And because it's got wheels on it, I actually just use this as like a little trolley table kind of thing for the microphone. So usually I'll kind of put this off to the side so it's kind of out of frame a little bit. And then I would actually connect my USB. So I would extend the cord into the computer and plug it in. And then I would have this in front of me so I can speak into that. I think that it's got pretty good quality audio, which is why I've done that before. Um, but yeah, I do tend to like using the lav mic a little bit more. It is a lot easier. So I do use the flip out screen as well so I can see what I'm doing. And especially because I like to see whether I'm in focus or not. And if you haven't been in focus for a whole video and you've filmed a whole video, there is nothing worse than finding that out at the end, let me tell you. Um, so I definitely highly recommend if you've got a flip out screen, make sure you use it because there's been too many videos where I've been out of focus 
focus and I haven't been able to post the footage unfortunately. Now I also do have these for blinds uh, which I actually mentioned in my office tour video and these are mainly just sunshades. I actually don't have block out blinds in here. It just kind of filters the light which is really good because sometimes the light can come in quite harsh so it really just kind of brings it down a notch and sort of filters it a bit more which is really good for natural light. But overall the main thing that I really wanted to stress with this video is that my setup is very simple and I don't think you really need to have a ridiculous amount of equipment as a YouTuber especially if you're just starting out. A simple setup is sometimes best. I know people that don't even use lighting they'll just use natural light and it looks great. Um, obviously it can be a little bit more temperamental that way but the main thing is if you can't afford lights that's okay and there's other ways around it. As I mentioned having a simple setup is really key to being able to create more content as well because it'll make it a lot easier and more accessible for you to do so. There's nothing worse than having to set up like three or four different lights and gels and like a whole backdrop that you usually don't have in one spot um, in your house or you need to kind of create a set every time you're doing a YouTube video. It can be a lot of work so I think it's good to have everything really simple and to just keep certain things set up if you can and if you have the space. But otherwise that is my really simple YouTube setup. So if you'd like to see more videos like this one please let me know in the comments. Uh, any more vlog style videos that you may have requests for definitely let me know in the comment section below and hopefully I'll be able to do more videos like this one in future. Thank you so much for watching this video today. If you liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already make sure you do because I'll be posting a lot more videos like this in future. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this one and more kind of vlog style videos because I'd love to hear your thoughts and also let me know down in the comment section below what you like to do with your YouTube setup. How do you like to film? Do you film at home? Do you film outdoors? I really want to hear from you. Also remember to hit the notification bell if you want to see more updates from my channel but thank you so much for watching this video today and I'll see you in the next one.